and welcome to The Update. I'm Michelle Stevenson. The federal government is laying out its path forward as it works to tackle family violence. Until recently, one woman was being killed every week. Now it's almost one every four days. Government Services Minister Bill Shorten says Labor is working to address the growing problem. We are trying a whole range of measures on prevention, early intervention, crisis response and healing and recovery. This government, uh, which I belong to, has invested more than any previous government. While opposition leader Peter Dutton says greater reform is needed. There are lessons from royal commissions that haven't been learned, uh, but there's great intent, there's bipartisan support to do whatever we humanly can uh, to resolve the issue. But as you say, um, society is failing at the moment. Meantime, former Australian of the Year and advocate Rosie Batty is pushing for a Royal Commission into the issue. The security guard killed in a stabbing massacre at Bondi Junction has been remembered for his strength and bravery. Faraz Tahir was one of six people killed in the shopping centre on April 13. His loved ones have gathered at a Sydney mosque for his funeral after travelling from Pakistan to attend. A man who was falsely identified as a killer by a media organisation has reached a confidential settlement. Benjamin Cohen had been suing Seven after he was named as the Bondi Junction attacker. A spokesperson for the network says it was a mistake and they've since apologised. The Queensland government is on track for an electoral defeat. Latest YouGov polling shows the Liberal Party is leading the charge 55 to 44. And Woolworths has been fined more than $1.2 million over unpaid entitlements. The company pleading guilty to failing to pay more than 1,000 employees for long service leave. Sport and entertainment are next. To sport and Luke Parker hasn't been named in the Swan squad to play Hawthorne at the MCG on Sunday. He'll make his return from an arm injury in the VFL. And Kelly Slater and Chris Moore have been granted wild cards for the upcoming Tahiti Surf Pro. In your entertainment news now, and Kim Kardashian has met with US Vice President Kamala Harris at the White House to discuss criminal justice reform. The meeting comes a day after Joe Biden issued pardons for 11 people and commuted the sentences of five others who had been convicted of non-violent drug offences. Rebel Wilson has lost her legal battle with her former co-star Sasha Baron Cohen. She'll now have to publish a redacted version of her memoir in Australia in which she accuses him of inappropriate on-set behaviour. And Taylor Swift has shared a video of her rehearsals for the Eras Tour which gets back underway in Europe next month. Fans are speculating she'll add tracks from her new album to the set list. And that's latest from the Nova Podcast News team. We'll have another episode of The Update for you tomorrow. I'm Michelle Stevens. Thank you.